Hey guys, Hero Essentials here. These are cute and interesting looking bar stools, and I like to make two with a different design for a relative of mine. And I'll be starting off with wooden dowels. Here's an example of smaller wooden dowels, so what I got were the larger ones from Walmart. I cut them to the height that I need with a handsaw and kept them aside. I'll be mixing this rapid set cement with water, and the mixture is gonna go into this bucket. After that, I'll be putting the dolls inside. I wanted to make sure that the dolls are equally spaced, so I used the ruler as my guide, and they're all 8 inches apart. They're all 8 inches apart at the top of the bucket. The cement that I used sets really fast, so after 2 hours, it was already hard and strong. I'm going to be attaching supports in between the dowels. Now I'm going to be painting the wood black with black acrylic paint. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here! Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'll be attaching foam to the top of the stool. I will carve out the pattern that I want for the back of the stool from a box. I will carve out the design with a box cutter. I put two boxes under there to give me four pieces. I have four pieces, but I'll be using just two because I intend to use two for another bar stool. I attach both boards with school glue. pattern that I made was too big and too high. I reduced the height and the width. When I was done with that, I cut out the size from a 1 inch foam. I made this thin so it won't be bulky, but then it's flimsy. It's not strong enough so I'm going to be adding a canvas panel to it. I'm going to be tufting the back so I made points on the foam and made holes on those points and covered it with batting and then created holes through the batting and now I'm going to be covering the whole thing with navy blue fabric.
It is important to have excess fabric that's going to covering the top and going right down to the bottom at the back. Because I'm making two stools, I ran out of fabric, but I have this one that's close to it, so that's what I'll use to cover the top. I made holes through the cement to make it easy for me to attach the tuft to design at the back. I had series of challenges because I used cement for my stool. I strongly recommend that you use wood for the top of the stool. I had to look for a way to hold the fabric down, so what I did was to use pieces of PVC strips since I didn't have wood. So I attached the pieces at the bottom of the stool and that helped me to staple down the fabric. a lot of work using cement for the stool and then having to make patterns or designs on it so I'll strongly recommend wood. To attach my tufted design to the stool I removed the staple pins that I had at the bottom to make it easy for me to insert zip ties inside. The canvas panel that's inside is strong enough to hold the large zip tie that I'm going to be using. Now I'm only using this zip tie because it's easy for me to hold the design down to the shape that I want before attaching the concrete screws. The tufted design has to have a slight curve and because it's really hard to keep it curved, I had to use zip ties that's going to help me with that and this is going to hold it down on the stool while I attach the concrete screws. I left the fabric that's at the front of the stool to cover the zip tie. I made four holes on the cement and I was going to go through this four tufts that I have here. So I'll be using four concrete anchors. I'm also going to be using washers so that the fabric does not pull out. Did I tell you guys that it's a lot of work drilling through cement? Well, it is. So I'm going to recommend that you use wood for the top of your stool. To make the look uniform, I'm going to be using the same fabric that I used for the tuft and design to make a band at the bottom of the stool. Then I'll use this golden trim at the edges. The connecting wood on the stool is going to be covered with golden contact paper. I would have preferred spray painting the connecting wood pieces, but because I thought about it much later, I decided to just cover it up with contact paper. So if you're going to make yours, it's better for you to spray paint the connecting wood pieces before attaching them. I'll be covering this part too. Now to cover up the staple pins and the concrete anchors, I'll be using gems that I spray painted gold. I had most of the items at home, so I spent about $41 making these two bar stools, meaning one would cost $20 and some change. The stools are pretty, but I ran into a slight problem. Now, because of the tufted design that I have at the back, it was small to sit on. I couldn't sit on it, so I had to make a wider one. So this is the small one, and this is the larger one. I'm glad that I actually sat on the first one that I made and noticed that it was just too small and then I made a wider one. Much later, I'll be making another one to make sure that I have two wide bar stools. 
This was quite the project for me, but I'm just glad that it turned out okay in the end. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. Now I have other DIY home decor videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.